After analytic cubism, they started to use a different type of technique called synthetic cubism. They used brighter colors and scrapbookers all over the world thank cubism because they created collage. This painting called The City by Laguerre is definitely a synthetic piece because as you can see the tones are a lot brighter, he uses a lot more variety of color, and it's not as serious. In this painting by Baroque called Bottle, Newspaper, Pipe, and Glass, it's the first technique that shows collage. He didn't focus viewpoint to viewpoint like analytical cubism, rather he made the piece simple and plain. This painting, Table by Baroque, used different textures. The knife here is actually higher up on the painting, so it looks like it's actually popping out of the painting. This took dimension of art to a whole new level. So some things we should remember about synthetic cubism is that the objects are always identifiable. The viewer can always tell what the object is. Also, the shapes in the paintings are always flattened and are used on different surfaces. So the materials used in synthetic cubism varied from tobacco wrappers all the way up to newspaper articles. This is the first time that artists actually used everyday objects, almost even trash, in their art. So synthetic cubism, although, although it appeared simpler than analytical, made the viewer question what was reality versus what was actually fake because of the different textures that the artists used.